Hello, and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie, and I'm coming to you from the middle of the mitten, Michigan's Lower Peninsula, where I live on a small sheep farm. Welcome to this extended episode about uh, the beginning of our Sock Spin Along 24. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more in detail about what we're going to do this year and what we're going to do to prepare to get ready for the kickoff, which is next Wednesday, January 24th, 2024. I also wanted to say thank you really quickly to everyone who mentions the channel or shares about the upcoming knit along and spin along. It really helps a lot. So thank you for being here and uh, let's get started on this minimal editing this time uh, uh, again, <laughs> a recurring theme, right? Um, so let's get started on the video and again, thank you for being here. Well, I've got my cup. Have you got yours? Have you got snow where you're at? We finally got ours. Um, not as much as some other places, not even as much as Northern Michigan has, but we probably have a good eight inches. I may mention that more than once today because I'm so excited. Um, anyway, this is not my first episode of 2024, but I just did that little short vlog earlier in the month. And so this will be more of a proper podcast for the start of the year. And oh my goodness, I'm so out of practice, really out of practice. So um, I hope you'll excuse any of the rusty squeaks that go on in this episode um, for me hemming and hawing and rambling on. Of course, I do that all the time. Well, let's see how this is going to go. Hello and welcome to the introduction of the 2024 Sock Spin Along, Sock Spin Along 2024 our third year in a row of making hand spun and hand knit socks. My name is Carrie and it's good to see you here. I wanna start right off by saying, um, when I get talking about this, I tend to think that it's people who have done this with me before, done this in the past, you know, that you've been here before, that you know what I'm talking about, that we've been through all of this, but we have a lot of new viewers. And so if I talk about something and don't clarify it, um, call me on it. May, leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram and say, um, Carrie, I don't know what you're talking about or I'm lost or something. But So I just wanted to get that out of the way to start with, that I get on a roll talking about the spinning for socks and um, I just assume that it's something that you've heard before, but it might be your first time here. And if it is, welcome. You're very, very welcome here. And I also should say, um, as returning spinners and knitters know that this is a very low key spin along. I'm not here to tell you that you're doing things right or wrong. I'm just here to share my experience with knitting for spinning yarn and knitting socks over the last many years. I raised the sheep myself and so um, I have some particular ideas about the fibers that I like to use for socks, but that's not to say that those ideas can't change or you can't use something else. Um, I just would like to give some suggestions and maybe some helpful hints. Also, the people that participate are always very, very helpful. I always encourage you to read comments on the episodes because um, I've learned a lot over the years from things that people have shared, things that maybe I hadn't tried before. So anyway, what are we doing? We're going to spin some fibers to make some yarn to knit some socks. Hand knit socks are a wonderful thing. Hand knit socks uh, out of all natural fibers are even a notch above and a wonderful thing. But if you've spun that yarn yourself and then knit the socks, it even sends it over the top. And so that's what I'd like to encourage everyone to try. You may try it and decide that you don't like it. We're not here to try to recreate a commercial sock. Um, we could maybe get as close to something that you're comfortable with as we can, but the idea here is to use wool to its full advantage and make a comfortable and decently hard-wearing sock uh, for us to use throughout the year. Um, I say wool. I I like to spin with most or spin the fibers with mostly wool. 
My favorite additive for that to give extra strength is alpaca. And I like a wakaya alpaca for the extra, the additional crimp. And because I can pretty generally match staple length. Uh, and while we're talking about staple length, I will say that I like uh, anything from a three to five inch staple length is good, but four I think is ideal for the staple length for spinning a sock. Um, I find if you get something longer, and I, and I don't mean this in any way to be offensive to someone who maybe prefers a different fiber, but I find a very long silky fiber tends to not hold up in a sock. You know, it tends to be baggy. An alpaca will tend to be baggy anyway, but if I can match about that four inch staple length of a, a decently crimpy wool with a decently crimpy alpaca at about that same staple length, and I'm not talking about putting a lot of alpaca in that fiber. I'm talking 80% wool, 20% alpaca, 70% wool, 30% alpaca, 25, 75. 30 is pushing it. Um, I, I probably would not like to have more than that in my particular socks. Mohair is good, of course. A lot of people like mohair. Um, silk is another fiber. Um, for me personally, I don't care for silk in, in my socks, but that's not to say that you might not like it. So anyway, that's, that's just a general start, and I'm already getting off topic. I'll tell you here today that I have some notes in front of me, so I may be looking down. I have some fiber on the table. Um, we may be disrupted by sound. We got dumped on by snow this week, thankfully, finally. We didn't get as much as some of you, but we got... I think here in mid-Michigan, we've got about eight inches on the flat, maybe a little bit more. So we could hear snow coming off the roof because it comes off like an avalanche. If we hear that, we'll probably hear the dog bark. Um, we may hear other sounds. I'm waiting on a neighbor to come and plow out my driveway, and he has a rather noisy truck, so we could hear that. And we could hear the furnace kick on. Um, hopefully that won't mess us up sound-wise. I am wearing a hand knit hat. This is my mushroom cap by Jacqueline Fee from um, one of my favorite resource books. I've said many times I'm on my second copy of this and it's probably showing backwards. Hand sp homespun hand knit from Interweave Press. And this is full of accessories made from hand spun yarn. I highly recommend this, this reference book or this resource for sock knitting, but also for hats and mittens. Um, and this pattern is a tr kind of a traditional old pattern. And this is made from wool that I had received from Wild in the Woods, who is Serena. This is Canadian wool. And I'm not gonna call it rustic. It's just good old fashioned wool. It was a delight to knit with. It's naturally dyed, it's natural colors and naturally dyed. And this hat fits me so well. I've been wearing it a lot and I have mittens to match it. So I just wanted to mention that real quickly and maybe I'll put a picture. Uh, you may have seen it on Instagram or on my last blog, but that's what I'm wearing today. And I have my little spindle earrings on. So how have you all been? I haven't sat down and done a proper episode in quite a while where I've shown my face and sat and talked about what I'm doing, but here I am. And the main focus of today is going to be introducing the sock spin along. So let me get back to that now that I've said hello and say, uh, give you some important information about that. So let me take a sip and you come right back and we'll talk about some of the important information about the hand spun hand knit sock look, knit along for 2024. So dates for 2024. We're going to begin officially on January 24th, 2024. That's a Wednesday, <clears throat> and that is also my birthday. And it's a milestone birthday. So I thought, what better way to kick off than to share that journey with you guys? So that's gonna be our official kickoff day. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the fiber and what um, you're gonna wanna have on hand to get us started. We're gonna follow the format that we have the last few years, and I'm gonna list it here, and maybe I'll type it out First, we're gonna talk about the fibers, as I said, about how much you're gonna need and what fibers you might wanna consider if you don't already have something in mind. 
Second, we're going to talk about our spinning wheels. We're going to get our wheels all ready if you're going to be spinning on a wheel. We're going to do some maintenance on our wheel because that's something we all tend to forget about doing. So we'll do a little wheel maintenance, just a quick update about that to get our wheels ready to spin. We're going to talk about our important tool for preparing fiber and um, spinning and knitting, and that's our hands. We're going to talk a little bit about a, a spa day for our hands, and then we're going to get started. Um, I'm aiming for a weekly vlog style episode here on the YouTube channel. I have some recorded in advance. Um, if you've followed me for very long, you know that I live very rurally. I don't have a dedicated camera. I don't have um, a laptop or a computer. Everything is done on my phone. And so sometimes that I run into difficulties with that. But I'll try to do the best I can. Like I said, I do have some things done in advance. So hopefully we can get those done and up. But I'm going to aim for weekly. And I'll probably aim for Wednesday, unless you guys would rather have that on the weekend. Would you rather have updates on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday? Just let me know. The hashtag this year, and I'll put it on the screen, will be hashtag SockSpinAlong24. That's what the hashtag will be on Instagram. Um, I mentioned maintenance of our wheels for spinning. If you are a spindle spinner, we have several, or more than several, spindle spinners that um, spin for socks. I personally am not knowledgeable at that, so I'm not a person to ask questions about that, but we have some great um reference people here to help us with um, spindle spinning if we need. This year, for the first time, I'm going to have some giveaways. And I've got several already. We have some in the works. And um, they we're going to see how that's going to go. I know that YouTube and Instagram has gotten quite fussy about how giveaways um, and prizes go. I also know there are people who will take advantage of that and um, do scam type things. So we're going to be very careful about how we do these giveaways. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I'm going to do everything I can to protect the integrity of giveaways and prizes and protect you guys. You've got to do your part too in being careful of how you respond to these kind of things. So we will talk about that in a little bit. But I'm kind of excited to be offering some prizes because this has gotten to be something that I look forward to very, very much. We do it for free um, just here on, on YouTube and on Instagram. It's a community. It's an encouragement. And I just really look forward to it every year, having you guys join me in doing something that I love. Um, so, yeah, I want to be able to do that. And... Our first giveaway, I might as well talk about it right now because I'm quite excited about it. Our first giveaway is going to be fiber. And I'm talking about that now because um, if you don't already have fiber, maybe if you're the prize winner, you'll have a fiber to spin. I'm going to try to lift this basket up and show you. If I can't do it without jostling everything, I'll take a picture and put it in. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this probably. I'll take a picture and put in. But what what you're going to have a chance to win is um, a sample offering. So I always say when I'm spinning socks, I like to have at least six ounces. Now, often I get by with less, but a lot of that's going to be, depend on how fine you spin. But six to eight ounces is going to give you more than enough for most socks. So this prize package is going to include a sample of three two ounce bumps, one of Coradale, which is my all time favorite breed that I've raised for years and years. One is Fin Sheep from a neighboring fiber farmer. And one is a new to me breed. And um, I think it's a new breed and there aren't that many of them. These are going to be coming from a, this is going to be coming from a farm who does some rescue sheep. And these were rescue sheep. And the breed is called Harlequin. Now, if I understand correctly, these started out being chosen to be a particular color pattern from within Baby Doll South Down and Jacob Crosses. 
I need to double check that, but it, that's, I believe, what I found. And I have a friend who has three of them, and she is generously offering um, a little bump of that fiber. So I'm kind of excited about that. So two ounces of fin sheep, two ounces of Coradale and alpaca. I forgot to say that, Coradale and alpaca blend. Two ounces of the Harlequin, and then half an ounce of my Bunny Toes blend. And if you're new here, Bunny Toes is a blend that I developed um, the first year, I think, that we did this officially online. And that's a blend of Coradale and alpaca, or whatever wool you're using, with some Angora Bunny. And I use that on the toes of my socks. Toes are the part of my feet that get coldest. And so um, that's plenty strong enough for the toes. And boy, I really have found that it makes a difference. And I've fallen in love with it. So half an ounce gives you more than enough yardage for the toes of your socks. And this will give you a chance to play with it too. So it's probably going to be the Coradale and Alpaca with Bunny. Um, it will be in natural shades, shades of gray and some white. And so that's what you're going to have a chance to win, to try to spin. Maybe you, you don't need it and you won't spin it this time, but you'll have it. And these are all from Mid-Michigan Farm Women. Um, it's all coming from farms very close to me, um, women run, um, including my own farm. And so that's going to be a treat. Another treat is that throughout this spin along and knit along, I'm hoping to sit down with my two friends and interview them for the podcast, um, show you a little bit about their farms and the animals that they have and um, their work in the fiber world. So I think that's something to look forward to. And, you know, it'll be rough because I don't have fancy equipment, but it'll be fun. And you'll get to see some other farms and some other sheep. We'll get to see my sheep too sometime during this amount of time. But anyway, back to the giveaway. Um, I'm going to let this be open to anybody. I'll ship this um, any place that you can receive a package of wool from the United States. So we're not going to limit this to just North America because um, I have a lot of overseas viewers. Uh, and what I want you to do is to comment down below here on YouTube and tell me, let's see, what shall we say? Just tell me if you're new to spinning for socks or if you're a returning sock spinner. Just tell me that one way or the other and that you're interested in, in winning the prize. Um, then it, it will do the giveaway next Wednesday on the kickoff on the 24th. Um, and I will not email you right away and I won't send you any links to click on. I will announce it on that kickoff podcast on the 24th. I will announce it here. I'll say your name or your, your Instagram handle or your YouTube handle. I will say it and tell you how to contact me. Um, so that you're not hopefully getting, we don't run into any trouble with these spammers that, you know, send you a message and ask you to click on a link, okay? You guys be careful and be aware. That's the only way we can do this. So that will be the prize. Uh, there'll be a couple of other little things in there, but that's going to be the first prize. Now, also while we're talking about fiber, if we've said this every year, if you want to participate in the spin along and you don't have the means to try some fiber, if you don't have any at hand, if you don't have the finances to do it, and if you don't, or maybe you just don't have access to it, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, we'll get fiber to you. I have several wonderful people who have, you know, from all parts of the world who have donate, offered to donate fiber if it's needed, and I can as well. So please, don't let that be something that, you know, no shame at all. We've all been there. Just let reach out and let me know. Um, you can message me on Instagram where I'm at, My Wool Mitten Farm, at My Wool Mitten Farm. That's my Instagram now. Um, you can message me there. You can email me. And my email for the podcast is mywoolmitten at gmail.com. Or you can leave a message here if you want to. So anyway, that's another possibility. I know I'm kind of all over the map this morning because I'm so excited about this. So I'm going to um, get ready and stop now. I'm going to remind you about the giveaway. 
leave a comment down below telling me if this is your first time spinning for socks with us or if you're new to it. I won't comment until we've um, drawn a prize because that'll just make it easier to choose. Uh, you know, I'll probably just hit a like or give you a heart that I saw your comment. I'll wait and comment on those till after I've drawn the prize winner. And again, I'll send that any place that you can receive wool fibers, we will, we will send it to you, okay? So what else? What other questions might you have? Um, ask me on Instagram or ask me here down below. I am on Ravelry too. I'm not super active there. It's more a place for me to chart my um, patterns or my projects. But I am there. If you message me there, it might take me a couple of days, but I'll try to get back to you. So welcome back again if you're returning for the second year or the third year. Um, if you're new, if it's, this is your first year, welcome, welcome, welcome. We drink lots of coffee and tea. We drink, eat lots of cake and cookies and goodies. And we talk mostly about our love, love, love for natural fibers. So leave me the comment. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me here. Follow the hashtag. Hashtag SocksSpinAlong24. Um, Come back on January 24th, which is going to be our official kickoff. And um, yeah, let's spin for some socks. We certainly, here in mid-Michigan, finally got the weather to need our hand spun and hand knit socks. Talk to you real soon, guys.